Now, uh, so that, as I mentioned, or as I was saying, at that time, um, uh, radio was, uh, well, that's all we had, right. but it was not good because uh, interference from static, you know, interference, uh, what was bad, and uh, uh, in the case of the Akron, uh, that was the reason it went down, because uh, when they uh, broadcast the weather, which was only a few times a day, uh, it, the static was so bad, the airship really wasn't getting it uh, uh -huh. as it should, and they flew it right into the midst of a severe storm, see. But anyway, what they would do, uh, uh, here, there was a 10 o'clock, there was a weather report came. Uh -huh. And they couldn't fly the, the big ships uh, un unless the wind was really down because of that vast expanse, you know, it's uh -huh. just like a, you put a sail in the wind, well, the broad side of one of those big blimps. Well, that's like, true. Like putting a sail, see? Sure. So it had to be very, very light wind to be able to take it out of the hangar. And uh, so they would wait until 10 o'clock at night and get the weather report and then if everything looked good then they would notify the ground crew to come out at say five o'clock or five thirty whatever in the morning to put to take the ship out of the hangar and put it up uh -huh. and on the first ship i was just a member of the ground crew the second uh ship the macon i had about uh, i think 23 fellas and at 10 o'clock if they weather was right and they were going to fly and they would call me and tell me to notify. You were the head of the ground crew. And I had a, that crew that, that, for that. Group, yeah, that yeah. I had to notify. Yeah. yeah. And uh, go, I had to go around. The town didn't have phones, you know, so I would have to go around and notify them. Uh -huh. Get out in the morning, and we're gonna they're gonna fly at uh -huh. five thirty. Be out at the hangar. Right. And uh, we had armbands, you know, and so and so we could get in. And that was thrilling, uh -huh. taking one of those big ships out of the hangar, you know. How many men would it take to do that? Boy, I don't, I don't know. Uh, but a hundred or? You had in charge of 20 some guys. There were some, not 23 I think that I uh -huh. had to notify. So how many teams? But there were, oh, I don't know how many different stations, you know, where there were ground crew men. And uh, so it took, uh, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred. Yeah, I would guess. Yeah. And take them out. And they had a way so, off, you know. So they, uh, those doors at the end of the hangar would roll back yeah. on railroad tracks like. Right, they call them orange peel doors. And yeah. Open up like Open that. Open up like so. that. How long would that take? Would that take some time? No, it didn't take very didn't take long. Too long. No, they, they went pretty fast, uh -huh. you know, and opened all clear up. And then you'd lead the ship out. And then the ship, they had, uh, at the tail of, of the ship, the ship was on a mast at the front, and then the tail of it, they had a car. Uh, that was way, weighted way, I don't know how many pounds, you know, and on track that it would run out and take the ship out between the car and the mast, so uh -huh. pull the ship out, and then we were, had uh, uh, toggles that we hung on to, you know, at various, and they were at various positions on the ship to make sure it was kept down and so on, uh -huh. and take it out, and then they had to, uh, when they got the ship out, then they had to weigh it off because it had to be uh, light enough to go up. And uh, so you, they would have to weigh it off, make sure the, they had ballast water, you know, that was the ballast, and they had to make sure. So they dumped the water. Yeah, they would dump water if they yeah. needed, you know, and till the, 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 uh, till the ship would go up. So it, was light. it depends, see with, uh, that's where you run into, like air, I took air statics. And that has to do with blue and airship gases. And the gases, when they get heat, they expand, and uh, you can have more lift. And so the so temperature of the day would the make temperature, a when we took it out, and The yeah. sun on the thing itself would heat up the thing too, yeah. probably, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So it depended, you know, what how cold it was and so on, and how much lift they had, and right. also how many people they had on it and so on. Uh -huh. And uh, Now how many people would would a cabin of a dirigible hold? I mean, they're a pretty big ship. Yeah, uh, you got me on that one. But see, they have the uh, uh, the crew of right. the ship, 
and they had some uh, they had some smaller cabins uh, along the sides of the ship that they they could be in. I see. And so they weren't all in the control car. I see. Yeah, there was a place for the crew. For the crew. There, there in the two big ships actually, uh, they had a bay where airplanes could hook you on, you know, fly and hook onto the ship, and they lift them up into this bay, uh, or they let them down from the bay, and they could go. I see. So, so yeah. they could launch airplanes from there. Uh, pardon? They, they could they, launch they, airplanes they could launch from and, there. And, uh, and, uh, okay. and recover. Once the thing was going, could the crew go up into the ship and walk around? I mean, oh, not, yes. not just the cabin, but up into the ship, oh, yes. right? Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Uh, from the cabin, there were walkways, you know. Uh, you could go... Uh, like catwalks or catwalks, something like yeah, that. You right? could go back, and there were ladders that would go up to the upper deck of the ship. There were a, a place to go up to the nose cone, you know, and so on. And you could go clear to the tail of the ship. In fact, in the tail, in the front of the tail fin, the bottom fin, there was a uh, control. So that if the you lost the control in the ca in the main cabin. You could control it from the control in the oh. end. They had a, a control back there, and uh, yeah, I, and and actually, uh, when the uh, second ship was completed, the Macon, uh, another fellow and I from Goodyear's Upland went out there, and uh, we boarded the ship. I, I'm, I'm still amazed, you know, that we could do it because it was a Navy ship. Right. And nobody challenged us. Now, we, uh, having handled the drawings, you know, knew all the details of the ship. Because when, when they would finish uh, a portion of the ship, we would get the drawings and we would order the materials that we had to order. Right. So we were acquainted. You're fact, very familiar with the layout fact, and they everything. They would, uh, would come to me and say, well, we want... Uh, an order for um, this bay or that bay or that bay, and I would write the new work orders for the various sections of the ship. Uh -huh. And uh, so, yeah, we were, we were well acquainted. So we went out. We went. We entered main, to the main cabin. You know, we entered the ship, and we just walked all over the ship. You know, up to the front and and back. And it up, was in the hangar. At the, it was in the uh, hangar. And up to the upper. Uh, walkway, you know, and back to the tail, and uh, just all over the uh, ship, you know. And I'm still amazed that, that we ever yeah. got away with it, but nobody challenged us, and uh, we did. And then we came down from the ship, and we uh, went over and went uh, onto the walkway into the, uh, the, uh, the, hang the hangar that goes up into the uh, 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 the big hangar, you know, that uh, this was the, uh, the dock, the air dock. And we went up there and went on to the to the walkways that lead down there, and finally went up and onto the roof of the air dock. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we went up. We wow. just went all over that place that that day. You had a good time. And nobody ever challenged us. Uh, nobody ever challenged us. Did you ever ride a dirigible? Did you ever get to ride on? No, I never did. I was like to have so very much have gotten to ride. Uh, they were taking uh, certain people from. Up one, because uh, in during the, the uh, trial run, the test runs of the dirigible, they would take some people from Goodyear and Navy personnel, you know, on these test runs, and uh, uh, I was hoping that I could get on one of them, but I never did. Uh -huh. I, I never did. But I did get to serve on the ground crews, and uh, that was thrilling to take them out and then bring them down, you know. When they would come back, they might be gone for a day. Were they hard? I mean, you talked about wind being a problem and that. you ever have any trouble getting them in? No, it worked out. Uh, I remember one, and I don't remember which it was, the Arkan or the Macon. It came in and it was light. Uh, see, when you burn gasoline, you're burning up some weight. Yeah. Now, they had a water recovery system. Uh, and the, uh, the exhaust from the motors went up and then it came down through these radiators and you were Catch supposed the vapor. to... Yeah, the vapor. Uh, and you were supposed to recover in water more, a little more than the weight of the gasoline you burned. Uh, and that way you're, you maintained the, the weight of the ship. Balance. You didn't have uh, to use your right. ballast. 
you had a, a ballast bags that had water in them, uh -huh. but you didn't want to have to use those if, you know, possible. Right. Right. Well, this ship came in and it was the light. And 